notes for your ecosystem project plan. And I would like to show you a way to organize those notes and kind of organize the information that you are going to need to gather because there's a lot of it. So the first thing I'd like you to do is in a journal, whether it's your, I would put it, it's in my science journal if you have a science journal, but if you don't, put it in any journal you have or make a page, <clears throat> a plain piece of paper. You're gonna make a project plan page. And the project plan page is where you're gonna keep track of who your group members are, what your group responsibilities are, and when you are meeting with your group. So I have pretended as though I am in a group and it is me, Miss Bethany, and Miss Chris. So the first thing you're going to do is list out who are your group members. Then the second thing you want is you need a section titled My Responsibilities. And I like to title, I like to kind of circle it up so that it pops out. And you need to leave enough space that you can write down your responsibilities within the group. So if I got together with Miss Bethany and Miss Chris and we talked about how we were gonna break up our research, my jobs might be to create the title page to do the research on the geography of our ecosystem, which I'm saying is rivers and streams. And I would also be responsible for researching the climate of rivers and streams. And maybe after I complete these, if I'm talking to Miss Bethany and Miss Chris and I'm saying, you guys, I don't have anything left to do, maybe I'll take on another responsibility over here and I can write another one. So maybe leave a little bit more space than I did. Maybe leave like two or three lines so that you can add responsibilities as you go in case you get done with yours really quickly and your group needs help. The final thing I'd like you to have on this page is a section where you are writing down when you're meeting with your group. I know that we have it recorded on the computer, but sometimes it is really nice to just be able to look at a piece of paper and see when something is happening and to be able to cross it off when you've already met with them. Or like I did right here, put a check. And I would leave a lot of spaces under that so you can always keep writing which times and which days you're going to meet with your group. So this is your first step to create a project plan page. Once you've created this, then you are going to have a lot of pages of notes. And the notes that I would like you to take, if you already have your own note-taking system, that's fine if there's one that you did um, with Mrs. Bradley or your teachers before. But if you don't have a note-taking system or if you don't like the one you have, this is the system of notes I take. And these are called two-column notes. The reason why is because on the left-hand side, Normally, this would be like page numbers from books that we're getting information out of, but I think most of us are going to be doing research on our computers because that's what we have. So on the left-hand side, this column is going to be the topic that you're taking notes on, and your right-hand side is going to be your notes. I suggest making your topic side a little bit skinnier. Leave more space on your note side. So this is an example of what it would look like. This is my topic. If I'm responsible for researching the geography of my climate, then I'm gonna put geography so I know what I'm talking about. And then on this side, this is where I'm gonna be writing down the facts and information that I find in my own words. These are not going to be the words that I find on the internet or that I find in the book. I'm going to be taking the information I found and I'm going to be putting it into my own kid words, okay? So if I'm talking about the geography of rivers and streams, something that I'm gonna to wanna to talk about is that rivers and streams are found all over the world. They are not just found in one spot. I might start talking about how rivers are different than streams because, and I might explain how they differ and how the geography of them differs. And then this is to show that I would have taken a whole bunch of other notes, as many as I needed to talk about the geography of my ecosystem. If you still have room on your page and you're done with a certain topic, then I like to put a dividing line and then I put my next topic. So maybe I am going to take on a responsibility of researching some animals because maybe I got through my other ones. And if I'm researching fish in rivers and streams, then I have all the space to talk about fish in rivers and streams. If I'm done with this page, I go to the next page. Again, I'm gonna make my left-hand side a little bit skinnier. I'm gonna make my two columns because these are two column notes. 
this is going to be my topic, and these are my notes. Okay, maybe my next topic, I need to research the climate. And then I'm gonna go find out as much information as I can about the climate. And once I'm done with the climate, I'm gonna divide off my page. Maybe I need a whole page for the climate. I don't know. But if I, you, if I find all my information I need and I still have room, I'm going to divide my page and then I'll put my next topic. It is up to you how many pages of notes you are going to have. I am never going to say you have to have five pages of notes because maybe you need seven or maybe the topic that you're researching you only need three, or maybe you write really small and you don't need five pages. Maybe you write really big and you need 10 pages. So the number of pages is dependent on how much information you're trying to find.